Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, uh, Shem Yahweh Shai, Rahab And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. And Shalom to the whole elect that is also plowing in this work, giving diligence to make your carnal election sure. In faith, truth, and sincerity, and all charity. Now, uh, the topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled Black Culture is Dead. In which, if you go into the word black, you know, that word, the definition of the word black is, has a negative connotation with that word. And really, black pertains on the death. All right, pertains on the evil, uh, uncleanliness. You know, it has a negative vibe to it, but yet our people, specifically the southern tribes of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes and the so-called West Indians and so-called Haitians, you know, they hold on to this uh, to this vibration of uh, so-called black culture and they look at that as a leeway to uh, get out of the situation that they're in right now and that situation being under uh, captivity under the, the so-called white man alright in which uh, the thing that you know this, this this whole movement so to speak is dead man you know it's not going anywhere and it never has went anywhere you know for years and years on end man all right because at the end of the day you know uh jake if they come together with you know in, in uh cases like this you know so-called black culture it ends up being a mess You know, it ends up being uh, nothing but confusion Alright, why is that, man? Because this This uh, this movement, so to speak Or this vibration That the so-called southern tribes Or should I say the southern tribes Are under Is, is going to uh, come to naught Why is that? Because It's not of life You know, it's not of Uh of our Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, so the, the the councils that are set up that are that is not is not under the vibration of our Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, then it's going to come to naught. All right, Saint, uh, and um, you know to speak and give an example of uh, something that has been set up by our Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and is never going away is is uh, his people. Or should I say his men That he set up to be the prophets In this time right now Because this council That you see Us the prophets that's, that's out speaking And teaching This council is set up by our Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai. Alright And guess what it's not going to come to naught Because the Lord set it up And what the Lord sets up you know it can't be taken down Alright But Black culture has been set up by uh, actually we're going to go into the bare workings of it really the so called white man set that up Esau set that up why because that that term black was put on our people to further blind them for who they really are and Esau knows the definition of the word black he knows what the term black means alright and he knows uh, calling someone black you know is basically uh, putting a negative vibration on that person or the people that's why they uh, call us they don't call us Hebrew Israelites they call us black Hebrew Israelites alright which that's uh, putting a negative vibration on our nationality in which we're not black we're shade of brown with different shades of brown Alright and I, I explained that in the previous video That I did before uh, this one Alright 
because here it is today you know our people hang on to uh this uh so-called black culture in which you know they believe that you got to get a a, a college you know master's degree uh doctorates you know they basically have to be in school for almost for almost the, the rest of your life or for a good chunk of your life and having a a, a high so-called high paying job they think that that's a part of black culture they you know they use that as saying you know that's part of black culture and you know they saying that you can start up your own business and stuff like that Look, we're not here to set camp here in um you know, have a settlement here in the land of our captivity, man. All right, this is what, this is the land that was set up for us to serve our punishment. This is not this land was not meant for us to live a good life and to um, bask under the uh, vibration of Babylon, man. Because this America is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, you know, and that's com that's common knowledge right now. And the scriptures say. Arise and depart for this is not your rest But yet Jake You know finds rest in uh, Babylon This whore And they said make a settlement Here for so to speak And they uh, They thrive off of it man They, they th literally thrive Off of wickedness And um Perverseness And they made And they made their bed you know they made their bed here in, uh, in Babylon, man. All right? But guess what? They got to lay in that same bed that they made. All right? And when they lay in it, guess what? The Lord's going to return. And they're going to be found guilty. All right? And they're going to uh, die here along with Babylon, man. You know, that's, that's the judgment of the Lord. You know? Like it or not, you know, to the ones that tuning in just now, like it or not, the Lord's going to do away with two-thirds of our people, man. For this very reason Alright Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures This book of Isaiah the 30th chapter And the 12th verse it says um, Wherefore This is the point It says wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel Because he despised his word And this is talking about This is talking to the two thirds of our people Alright It says uh Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, this is, uh, this is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the ancient Hebrew, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. It says, because you despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, right? In which, that's what our people do. They trust in oppression and perverseness and they stay on it, man. All right? Because this place is oppressive. Why is that, man? Because our spirit is oppressed. All right, the the wicked, evil vibration that's that's being pushed here throughout the the, the this, this land of America, which presses down the spirit. All right, the things that are uh, that are of the flesh, you know, the carnal things. They the, these things rule here in in this land, of America. All right, which presses down our spirit, to which it's a daily fight. All right, and if it's a daily fight, if it's a daily battle, then you know, sure enough, that this is not our rest. All right, now concerning oppression, you know, our people, two thirds of our people, they, they stay on it, man, and perverseness as well, man. And what's a part of that perverseness? Which, if you go to that word, uh, perverse, you know, basically, it's something that's either unclean or actually just for the sake of a, uh, a edification you know I don't want to butcher that word uh, I got the blue letter right here in my face so that word perverseness right it's uh it's like yeah uh lawaz right lawaz means to depart to turn aside all right. It means uh, to depart, to go wrong, go crooked. All right. 
devious for verse all right to be lost from view to become devious all right and when you're devious that means uh that's pertains on the evil all right forward right to, uh, to depart uh perverse perverseness right so it's to turn aside which uh literally to depart all right so when someone is perverse they have departed from the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which really is our heritage. Okay? And they cling on to the heritage of being black. Alright? So calling yourself black or African American or not you, you not only that, but to go even further, calling yourself a uh, Latino or a Native American. You know, if you call yourself by these other bow words, then guess what? You you're perverse because you've departed from your heritage. All right. That says uh, literally to depart and uh, figuratively uh, be perverse, depart, and uh, to be forward. All right. Now it says to bend. All right. Let me pull up the rest of this. It says to bend, to bend aside. All right? Because the Lord right now is making the crooked path straight. All right? So therefore, to be perverse, you know, it's basically to, to, uh, to bend, to not, to not be straightened. All right? You know, and, and really that's a term that's used now in today's, today's world, man. You know, when somebody tells you to straighten up and when someone tells you to straighten up, basically they're telling you to get yourself together, you know, get your mind right. All right. So that's pretty much it on that word. I'm going to go back. It said, because you, tr you, uh, you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness, right? Which means to turn aside and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. So, this their establishments and their councils that they set up here in Babylon, which is not of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, is is as a breach ready to fall. You know, like our Lord put a, put up a uh, spoke about a parable of someone's foundation being made of sand, in which. Uh, when the winds came in the storm or the storm came and the winds blew on that house that was founded on sand that house uh, fell and great was the fall of it okay so it says uh, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to, f to uh, fall swelling out in a high wall whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant so when our Lord returns and, and all hell breaks loose, it's going to be at a sudden. All right. It's going to be a sudden event to the point to where they're not going to be able to uh, just make a complete 180 and turn to our Lord. Because in that day, the Lord is going to shut out two thirds of our people. Those doors of mercy are going to be closed. And it's going to be absolutely no excuse in that day. Why? Because videos like these, like this video I'm putting up, and the brothers are also putting up, the apostle elders, a great millstone are also putting up. These videos are for edification. And, and we put these videos up in the hopes that the elect run into these videos and they wake up. All right. Now I want to go on from there. I want to grab this other scripture that I have, right? Because I mentioned that word black being uh, synonymous with death. Because really, when uh, Jake, our people, subscribe to uh, this land, Babylon, America, they also subscribe to the ways of Esau or Edom, which that's the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man. 
All right. Now, this is Isaiah, the 28th chapter in the 15th verses, because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell. Are we at agreement? All right. Which hell means the grave or the pit. All right. And also means a condition. So right now we're in our hell, man. Okay. We're serving out slavery. We're suffering every single day. We're being tempted every single day. And we're seeing our enemies just running, uh, running freely and rampantly without receiving repercussions for what they do. You know, we have to suffer these things, man. And this is what this is what we have to go through. We have to go through this hell in order to get to our heaven, which is the kingdom which is going to be set up in the future when Esau is taken down and Babylon is destroyed. All right. And Babylon is going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire, man. Okay. Now, reading on, it says, uh, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. And that's right, because that's that sure foundation and that tried stone and that cornerstone, right? That's our that's Yahweh Shai, which is our foundation. That's that going back to the parable, parable which I spoke about before about Jake building their foundation on sand. Our foundation is built on a rock. All right. So when the storm is gonna when the storm comes. And when the winds blow on our uh, on what we build it, it's not going to go anywhere. Why? Because it was built on a rock. And that storm and those winds and the rains comes in the form of martial law. All right, martial law. When martial law troops come in, the Gurkha troops, when they uh, cart off our people to the concentration camps. When the mark of the beast is implemented and our people are forced to take the, uh, the the microchip, which is the mark of the beast, that's that's a form of the storm and the winds and the rain coming to beat upon the house that we build it. Now, that's why our foundation is built on Yahweh Shai, which is that rock. Because guess what? When it when it comes, we're going to be protected in that day. But the ones that have not built their foundation on Yahweh Shai, they're going to be taken by uh, the troubles that are coming. Which comes in the form of Jacob's trouble. That's in the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, and the seventh verse. All right. That's why, like in the same scripture that I read, right, it says, He that believeth shall not make haste. All right. Now, uh, skip down to verse 18. It says, And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. All right. It's going to be done away with, it's going to be destroyed. All right. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be trodden down by it. All right. So they're going to be trodden down of um, all these things. The famine, the plague, uh, which uh, in the form of the plagues, the plagues which come um, in the form of famine, in the form of martial law troops, the sword. And ultimately, it's going to lead up by way of uh, fire thermonuclear fire alright so that's pretty much it on this video and this lesson and our Lord's will you members of the whole elect of the nation of Israel which can once again consists of you so called Negroes so called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans Hopefully you members of the Hopefully uh Hopefully Lake were edified by this video. The body of Yahweh Bashmi on Shai. And until next time, once again I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai, Brahwa Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. Shalom, peace and safety, salutations to the Hopefully Lake. That's uh, continually plowing in this work, that's continually giving diligence to make your congregation sure and spreading this ministry.